So the first step to get JavaFX to work with NetBeans is by downloading Java 11. If you, so if you just do a quick Google search, Java 11. And click on the oracle.com Java SE Development Kit 11 link. Scroll down here, accept the license agreement, and then download the Windows x64 bin.exe. You'll have to enter in your Oracle login. You can create one and it's perfect, it's absolutely free. After it's done downloading, go ahead and install the JDK. It'll just take a moment here. You will then get a successfully installed right here. Now that we have Java 11, we're going to go ahead and build our JavaFX project. So go to New Project. We're going to go to Java with Maven. Scroll down to Project from Archetype. Next, and look for Java FX. Wait a second for it to load. After it finishes loading, go ahead and click on Java FX Archetype, Archetype FXML. Next, call it whatever you like. Finish. Wait for it to load. Maven's going to grab a bunch of things that are useful. Okay, now you'll have your Maven project up here. And if you click on plus, you can see everything that's inside of it. You'll be able to see your app, your primary controller, and secondary controller. Click on Maven Project 1 and try to run it. And it'll ask for main classes, and it will be confused and not work. So that's the first problem we have to deal with. So we'll solve that in a second. So to solve that, basically just wait another minute here, and then until once you see a little play button next to app.java, it worked. So click on play again at the top level, and it will give you the available main classes. Select the main class, try to run it, and here's where you'll probably get an error. We are missing JavaFX components. So if you just wait a moment here, we'll take a look at that. Okay, and here's the error right here. Error, JavaFX runtime components are missing and required to run this application. Command execution failed. A bunch of details there. Maven will give you a build failure issue, all that. So, now we'll move on to the next step. So now we're gonna download JavaFX. So if you look, if you go to openjfx.io, you'll see JavaFX 13, scroll down a little bit, and you'll see download right here. Just click on download. And right here, JavaFX Windows SDK 1102, just click on download. Wait for that to download. And then we're gonna show in folder, and there's our file. And what we're gonna do now is just go ahead and click on compressed folder tools, extract all, extract it anywhere you need. And then we'll move it in just a moment here. Okay, so now you should have your extracted folder right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this folder and copy it and put it directly on our C drive. This is for a very key reason and I'll show you that later. Just paste it in here and it'll take a minute to paste, but it's very crucial you put it directly on the C. Okay, now it's on your C drive and we're going to click up here. Actually, we're going to double click into our SDK, go into the lib directory. And then now we have the full path up here on your C drive. Click over here to the right, and you'll see it'll have the full path with no spaces. Now we're going to copy that, and we're going to go down to search for environment, and you'll see edit environment variables for your account, and we're going to click on new, and then paste your variable value right here, and then right up here we're going to add in a variable name. 
Okay, so right here in variable name, we're going to type in P-A-T-H underscore T-O underscore F-X. And that's going to allow us to pass in a variable into our VM options in just a moment. So click OK, hit OK, and then you're going to go back to NetBeans, and you're going to close NetBeans completely. Just hit Exit IDE. And now we're going to reopen NetBeans. Okay, so now we're back in NetBeans. We're going to click plus on this, wait for it to initialize our project. Okay, so now it initializes our project. We can see our source code here, controllers, and our app. So we're going to right click on Maven Project, or whatever your project is, and we'll click on Properties. And here we're going to make sure that we're using JDK 11. And if it's not there, you'll have to manage Java platforms, and you'll have to go to Add Platform, and then point to the path of where your Java 11 platform is. Okay, so now the Java 11 is selected under Compile. You can go to Run, and then here we have a VM Options section. This is crucial. So here's where you paste in the text that's in the description of this video. It's dash dash module dash path, and then percent 2fx percent. That's going to grab that environment path we entered earlier, and then we're going to add the modules that add in everything you need for Java FX. It will grab additional things as needed, but you need these two to start it. And then go ahead and click OK. And then now select Maven Project or your project name and hit play. It's going to ask you for the main class again. Go ahead and select the main class and allow it to run again. And now we should see it pop up after entering in those options. And here it is. The program now runs correctly. Now this is just the base program. Your program can be put into these controllers and the app that's there. And your FXML is in other sources over here. All right, well, I hope this uh, tutorial helped. If there's any questions, feel free to comment below. Thank you.